there is an issue that needs to be tackled because it hits us where we live. From Compton to Beverly Hills, from Harlem to Fifth Avenue. And if we don't deal with it, it's going to get worse. Most, if not all, of these inmates are going to be back in your neighborhood, my neighborhood. They're back in society. Do you want them back in society as productive as they can be, as opposed to going back and being better criminals? I used to be in trouble all the time. You know, I max my bit out, go to SIG. I'm not about that anymore. I, I got kids. I'm trying to support my family, you know. So, yeah, I, I definitely think some of us are trying to change. I tell a lot of young people out there, man, uh, uh, to stay in school and grasp what's possible and build yourself a life and stay away from drugs, alcohol, and, and crime. Because uh, this is no way to spend your life. It's a lot of wasted time. If these guys can find a focus through something they love to do, then hey, we've got a rehabilitation program that could work in addition to the other programs they're already utilizing at the prison. I'm done with selling drugs. That's just, that's just not gonna happen. So this, this type of situation, this was a good, great opportunity for me to showcase my talent. This has never happened before. In my 19 years of being incarcerated, nobody has ever really cared, to, cared about the inmate talents. Part of the reason I thought this was an important project was to bring something inside a prison that might help them get along better. If they can laugh together well, perhaps they can get along better together well. This is a step in the right direction. I'm just glad they let us uh, get in here and do this. There's a lot of potential for, for comedy because it's a difficult place to live. I don't have any doubt that you'll find talent in prison. Hey guys, how you doing? You guys hear about the comedy show? You got a little soap going on all of a sudden if you just drop it, because we ain't got no ropes. <laughs> <laughs> so check it. Real experience, strength, and hope. Yo, this is how I did it. How much are you on 50 cents like those? But I just can't hide. I can't go to jail. I'm a snitch. Right. Some of y'all brothers need to find that haircut. <laughs> Even the guitar and his t-shirt was small. Look like he had to play a ukulele. On my mama. On my kid's mama. On my baby daddy's mama. That's what I'm talking room. about. See the background. Can I get a kiss? We were able to find the best talent that was going to make the best show and put the best face forward for a rehabilitation program for the state of Indiana. I don't know, everybody told me I should be a comedian instead of a criminal, and apparently I ain't no good at being a criminal because look where I'm at. It's obvious we need new progressive approaches for helping cons and ex-cons walk the straight and narrow. There's tons of hidden talent in our nation's prisons, people with great stories to tell and original ways of telling them. Johnny and Joel have found a way to uncover that talent and encourage these inmates and parolees to turn over a new leaf to do the right thing, to make their families proud, and to become productive in society. Thanks for coming through, I appreciate it, man. You guys really moved me in the right direction.